Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Health Made Easy. I'm your host, Dr. Jason Jones, your practical voice in a world of confusing health information. And we're going to wrap up our series on B vitamins with what I think is probably the most important uh, podcast in this series, and that is what B vitamin or B vitamins support your nervous system function and how do they actually work. So why is that so important? Well, as a chiropractor, um, you know, we are more like spine and nerve system specialists because we understand uh, the, the basic anatomy of your nervous system controlling every single system of your body, every coordinated uh, thing that happens in your body. The way you experience life in general happens through your nervous system. So the better functioning your nervous system is, the better functioning person you are. Not only do we feel better, we move better, uh, we function better, we have live much better lives and the quality of our lives are so much better. So with that being said, when we look at these B vitamins, you know, they benefit our overall health, you know, but they also include, um, you know, keeping the nerves healthy. Um, but three of these, uh, thiamine, which is B1, pyroxidine, uh, pyridoxine, excuse me, B6, and cobalamin B12 are the main ones that we know to support the um, nervous system function. And we're going to start out with thiamine, so B1. So B1 is a huge benefit to your central nervous system, brain and spinal cord. Um, and this aids in the synthesis of what's called acetylcholine, which is one of the most abundant neurotransmitters in your nervous system, in your central nervous system. And this chemical helps to relay messages from your brain to your body, you know, um, thereby influencing movement, behavior, uh, primarily in the muscle tissue, but acetylcholine also helps with memory, cognitive function. Um, more so, it plays a role in regulation of like hormones, learning, sleep cycles, and pain sensation. You know, um, now imagine if your body's not producing enough acetylcholine because you're having a vitamin B1 deficiency. Well, not only will you experience fatigue, but you also suffer short term memory loss, confusion, your feet and hands may become numb, uh, and your movement hampered. So ensure that you get enough B1 in the diet. So some thiamine or B1 rich foods are things like beans, nuts, seeds, beef, uh, some yeast, uh, liver, oranges, eggs, pork, peas, legumes, and oranges. Oh, sorry, I said oranges twice. Well, that's why that's because they're super important. Now, the next one is B6 or pyridoxine. So while thiamine is essential for the synthesis uh, or creating of acetylcholine, uh, pyridoxine or B6 is needed for the synthesis or the creating of other neurotransmitters like norepinephrine and serotonin. Now, norepinephrine is a stress hormone helpful in triggering the fight or flight response so that when you got to run from a tiger uh, or get out of the way of a car that's coming at you uh, or like run for your life or you need to just pump it up for an exercise program or whatever, you need norepinephrine. Now, this one it also helps increase the amount of oxygen to your brain. Uh, helping you think and make better decisions much faster. Serotonin is also a very important neurotransmitter responsible for regulating your appetite, your mood, your sexual desire. It also helps enhance your memory and maintains your sleep cycle. B6 also plays an important role in what we call myelin formation. And myelin, that's the insulating uh, fat layer around your nerves. Uh, and this helps for a very quick and efficient transmission of electrical signals from your brain to your body and back again over those nerves. So when you're deficient in B6, you may feel more tired, irritable, nervous, depressed. Um, and this deficiency is also linked with conditions such as neuritis, neuralgia, and even carpal tunnel syndrome. So it's important to add B6 foods to your diet. Things like meat, legumes, bananas, avocados, fish, um, and potatoes. Now, the last one we're going to talk about is B12, which is the one people get shots for uh, and all these other kinds of things. Uh, but the reality is, is that you can pump up your B12 without doing any of that uh, because B6 and B12 are needed for maintaining your myelin. Again, covering around your nerves that uh, enhance uh, the speed of transmission of your nerve signals from your brain to your body and back. Um, uh, cobalamin helps in the formation of the myelin, but also protects the nerves as well. So the myelin uh, may become damaged, you know, it can lead to dysfunctional nerves, which leads to all kinds of problems, everything from peripheral neuropathies to you name it. Uh, pregnant women who do not eat 
enough foods rich in cobalamin uh, put their babies at risk of nervous system disorders like seizures, brain atrophy, um, things like microencephaly and encephaly, and even blindness. So some good food sources that are rich in B12 include red meat, fish, poultry, eggs, lamb, liver, fortified yeast products, and even milk. So, you know, looking at the benefits of all these B complexes for your nervous system, it's just important, you know, that you get enough B vitamins. And I've said it sort of ad nauseum on the podcast, but the reality is, is like the, the, a, a good B vitamin supplement is so cheap and so inexpensive. And the reality is you should see it as an investment anyway and take it because if you get too much, you're just going to pee it out anyway. Uh, and I would much rather uh, pee it out and have plenty than not have enough um, B vitamins in my diet. So I hope I have convinced you to get out there and be healthier by getting your B vitamins going on. Um, so uh, I'm going to be out of here for this podcast. Uh, and I'm gonna make, see if I can make one more uh, B reference, but I don't think I will. Um, you know, I, do, I will do one, and that is uh, please uh, help us be better with this podcast by leaving us a, a, a review um, on your podcast player, whichever one that you're listening to on here. Uh, this helps us because we understand more about uh, what you like, what you didn't like, uh, and how to make it actually better for you, which is why we do this podcast in the first place. All right, be healthy, everybody, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.